in there right now. Alright. Good morning. Hello. socially distance that way everybody's safe that's all C-I-S-E-O. And are you a police officer with the Haines City Police Department? Yes. And were you a police officer in July 1st, 2020 with the Haines City Police Department or July, excuse me, July 9th, 2020 with the Haines City Police Department? Yes. And were you involved in apprehending Defendant Levi Jonathan regarding case to do with an incident July 1st, 2020? Yes. And could you describe this process of apprehension? I was assisting Detective Arm Brewster. Uh, she had developed a lead. I believe there was a warrant obtained. <clears throat> uh, surveillance was conducted. When she positively identified the suspect, I assisted her in apprehension. And how was the suspect positively, uh, how was the suspect identified? That's a question for Detective Arnold Brewster. I relied on her advising me that, mm -hmm. that she positively uh, identified the suspect. And how did you apprehend the suspect? Quote unquote suspect. Uh, I assisted Detective Arnold Brewster. We walked up to the suspect and detained him. the suspect doing at the time that you detained him? I believe he was standing outside. You were standing outside, sir? Where? I don't recall. And when you detained the suspect, did you do it at gunpoint? I don't recall. Was the suspect using a hammer to fix his fence at the time that you detained him? I don't recall. Were you wearing a body camera? <clears throat> no. Why not? Not issued one. Do you recall the suspect on the ground? No. <coughs> Excuse me. Would it be usual for you to take someone into custody at gunpoint point for this kind of alleged offense? It depends on the circumstance. What do you mean by that? Depends on the circumstance. What level of force we use or present. In this instance, I, I don't recall if I utilized a service pistol. I do recall placing you in handcuffs. And when you do utilize a service pistol, is there a safety that you have off at the time that you draw it? Well, I'm not sure I understand the question. Do those guns have safety <clears throat> safety levers or switches? Yes. When you draw your gun from mm -hmm. the holster, mm -hmm. is the safety lever engaged or not? The safety is on. I'm not a Glock armor expert, but there is a safety on the trigger. 
So at the time you draw it, you disengage the safety? Again, I'm not a Glock armor, but there is a safety on the trigger. Is it a safety that you would manually disengage? I can't, I don't, I don't understand how to answer that question for you. You, you do not, I, I can't answer that. I'm not a Glock armor, but there is a safety on the trigger. I'm not a gun person, sir, so this is why. Neither am I. Yeah, neither am I. I think he's giving you the best answer you're going to get. Do you recall speaking to the alleged suspect's wife outside of their house on the day that you apprehended him? I don't recall. making the statement from one Asian to another as you attempted to speak to the defendant's wife? No, I don't recall that. Do you recall anything? What? I don't understand the question. Does that pertain to this case? Do you recall speaking to anybody about this case? Detective Armbrister or the other detectives involved in this case. What did they have to say? What they said was, to me uh, was requesting my assistance, in which I rendered my assistance, which I reflected in my supplement. And were you involved in the draft of a report um, in which various items were seized from the defendant's house? And you um, signed. Is this your name? Yes. So is this part of the process that you would uh, be a witness to the? This is my involvement in the case that you're speaking about. Yeah, my supplemental report, which is the same thing you have here. But this is not the same report as that. This is a supplement. This is to case number 2146. And I'm referring to something additional. So. Okay. I don't know if I have that. So what are you asking me? Well, your name appears on it, so I'm asking you the process um, of what supplement report these, are you reading from? This is this is this is a, a report. Uh, regarding the items that were seized from the defendant's property and which his name is is attached. Yes, if you look at the top right corner, I'm asking you what supplement report you're referring oh, to. 0004. And so, I've been a notary. Am I in there as a notary? That's what I'm trying to find out for you. Supplement four, I am on there as a notary. Yeah, I have a copy. So. Okay, you do. So maybe if you could explain your involvement as, as it relates to being a notary, maybe that will answer his question. Okay, so when a, uh, an officer fills out a report, it requires two signatures, the officer's report and a notary, which can be any other sworn officer, and that just represents that that officer authored that report. So I'm certified that that officer you? authored. No, I'm certified that whoever originated that report is the person that wrote that report. <coughs> Excuse me. Are you Filipino? What does that have to do with this case, sir? I'm sorry, what did you ask? Filipino. How is that relevant to this case? Well, that was information I was given from my wife. Uh, according to her, she had a conversation. She tried to talk to, the, to her outside of the the house, and okay. that was what I recalled her telling me, um, that he was feeding her something, so. Well, I'm going to object to that to question being asked. I don't see how that's relevant to this case at all. Sure. Especially after he's already said he doesn't recall a conversation with your wife. Sure, you can do that. Okay, so if you want to go to the duty judge to have that argued, we can, or you can continue the deposition. Uh, no, sir. Uh, I have... Uh, 
One more question. If the defendant turned at you while you were approaching the defendant, <coughs> as you said, walking, with the hammer in his hand, would that be grounds to, to shoot the defendant? Uh, I can only speak for what I did here on this case. And I know that I assisted Detective Armbruster apprehending you and placing you in handcuffs. What I'm asking is, if you're apprehending a suspect mm. and you run up to him with your gun strong mm -hmm. and the suspect turns around with a hammer in his hand, would that be grounds to shoot the person? I think that's an opinion and uh, I'm giving you the facts relevant to what I did in this case. So I can't give you any opinions here. I mean, you know, this is the kind of decision you would have to make in a split second. Mm -hmm. So I'm asking you, is that a, a justifiable uh, homicide? You can certify that question to the judge if you need that answer. I think he's giving you the best answer he's going to give you there. I don't have any more questions. I only have one question. Sure. Uh, did you discharge the weapon in this case at all? I did not. If you had, that would have been reflected in your report, right? Correct. I have no further questions. Uh, would you like to read away? Read, please. Thank you very much. You can bring it up. God bless you today, sir. You too, sir.